Hi guys, the Benidorm Enthusiast here. For today's video we are continuing with our monthly guide to Benidorm where we go through weather averages, how the atmosphere is and what special events there are going on as we pass through the different months of the year. This is the second instalment of our monthly guide. First video we released at the start of the year and that covered the months of January, February and March. And so for this vlog we'll be picking up where we left off with that and talking about April, May and June. April is a spring month of course and the weather in Benidorm is generally very pleasant. The average temperature covering night and day at the start of the month is around 15 degrees and by the end of the month that's crept up to around 17. The average daily maximum temperature is just over 19 degrees. These are shade temperatures, remember guys it does feel much warmer when you're sat in the sun. You can sunbathe comfortably on a nice day. The feel like temperature will be easily into the 20s but the nights are still chilly with average minimum temps of just 10 degrees. Can you swim? Well if you're brave, yes, the sea temperature is still quite cold at around 16 degrees. Not warm enough for me just yet. There is a chance of rain in April, but if it comes, it usually comes all at once. As I talked about on our last guide for March, we do often get a big pre-summer storm around this time of year. If it hasn't happened in March, it may well happen in April. A few days to a week, usually, of torrential rain, it can be pretty intense. What's going on in April? Well, this year, Easter falls in the first half of April. Easter is a big part on the Spanish calendar. Holy Week, called Semana Santa, starts on Sunday the 2nd of April and Easter Sunday is the following week, the 9th of April. What can you expect during Semana Santa in Benidorm? It's a very busy time for national tourism here and there's a real family vibe around with many Spanish families choosing Benidorm as their destination to celebrate the Easter period. It's also a bit of a pre-summer holiday all the bars and restaurants are open and weather permitting, it's the first point of the year we'll see the beaches really busy again. It is of course a religious festival and you'll see processions, parades and ceremonies around the Old Town almost every day of the Holy Week. Closer to the time when we get the full schedule of events and parade routes confirmed, we'll do a video or a post on our other socials of what exactly is happening when and where over Easter. Good Friday through to Easter Monday is a public holiday here in the Valencia region so do expect some shops, supermarkets to be closed or at least have different opening hours to normal. When it comes to international tourism at Easter we also see a lot of British and Irish families. Anyone who says Benidorm isn't family friendly for me clearly just doesn't have an idea what they're talking about. Of course there are certain areas you wouldn't want to take kids on a night would be a bit like taking your kids out clubbing with you in a UK city centre on a Saturday night. But there are loads of family activities you could do in Benidorm at this time of year. We have zoos, we've got a fun fair, bowling, cinema, go-karts, electric bikes, jeep tours, that's just to mention a few. And I believe Aqua Natura Water Park is opening in April this year on their website it says so. Or you can simply enjoy playing on the beautiful beaches. Then away from the party nightlife strip area on a night, most bars and restaurants welcome families and most of the hotels have plenty of family entertainment during the school holidays. Towards the end of April we've got the Elvis Festival. This year the dates are the 21st to the 23rd of April. A full weekend dedicated to the king of rock and roll. This is a ticketed event consisting of shows and performances from tributes and loads of Elvis themed fun and games. You can get your tickets for the weekend through Round Town Travel. We did a video at last year's Elvis Festival. If you didn't see that, the link is in the video description below. If you're an Elvis fan, check that out. On to May, which is one of my favourite months of the year, along with June, September and October. I absolutely love the weather in May. It's when the summer wardrobe comes out, the beach beckons and the swimming pools are warm enough to enjoy going for a dip. Average overall temperatures in May covering night and day is around 18 degrees at the start of the month, jumping up to almost 21 at the end of the month. 
the average daily maximum is 22.5 degrees and the average minimum is a much more respectable 13.6 degrees. So the nights are warming up and you start to get those summer vibes as the outdoor bar terraces are busy into the early hours. And it's a drier month with less average rainfall than April. May is a very busy month for the British and the Irish, one of the busiest in fact. The new town bars are bouncing and entertainment schedules are full up with some bars having seven or eight acts a night on. There are no major fiestas in May, it's just a busy, busy month in general. We've got May Day, known as Labour Day here, which falls on a Monday this year, so I would expect that the weekend at the end of the April going into May will be especially busy, with the first being a public holiday when schools and some businesses will be closed. Mother's Day in Spain is in the month of May too. This year it falls on Sunday the 7th of May, so why not treat your mum to a cheeky weekend away? Not that you guys need any excuse to visit Benidorm, of course, but it's just a thought. I'm sure all the mums watching this video would appreciate it. On to June, an amazing month usually weather-wise. If I could keep a mixture of May and June climate all year round, it would be just perfect for me. In June, it's nice and hot, loads of sunshine, hardly any rain, it's not too humid, and the nights are really pleasant too. The average overall temperature day and night is 21 degrees at the start of June, increasing to 25 at the end. The average daily maximum temperature is 27 degrees and the average daily minimum temp, what you can expect overnight, is just under 18 degrees. Blissful. Very little rain in June, it's generally a very dry month, just 14 millimetres average rainfall over the whole month compared with 35 millimetres in May and 46 millimetres in April. The sea is also a lovely temperature for swimming at an average temp of 22 degrees. June is the start of the real summer, even though May feels pretty summery as well. And again, June is a really busy month for British and Irish tourism. But a lot of other Europeans start to join us here in June as well. And it's a good month for national tourists too. The resort is bustling all over night and day. The Aqualandia Water Park opens up in June, as does Terra Mythica Theme Park. All the water sports are up and running. You can rent pedalos, have a go at the fly fish, banana boat, jet skis. There are boat trips to places like Calpe or Alicante, uh, to Barker Island and Benidorm Island, of course. Loads of excursions are available, day trips to the waterfalls or Valencia City. There is absolutely loads going on in June as we really get in the mood for summer. Summer officially starts in June, of course, and there is a big celebration here in the Valencia region, especially in our province, Alicante, the Fiesta of San Juan. The night of San Juan is the 23rd of June, and it's a brilliant night where people party on the beaches. We did a video last year of the party in La Cala Finistrat. If you haven't watched that, check it out. The link is in the video description. There are stages set up with live music and DJs on the beach. People gather with food and drinks and party until dawn. Back in the day, they used to light bonfires on the beaches as part of the tradition, which was supposed to give strength to the sun to help lengthen the days. Fire on the beach isn't allowed in Benidorm anymore due to health and safety. Instead, huge effigies are built and burnt the following night, which is the 24th. Everyone runs into the sea at midnight on the 23rd and jumps the waves, a tradition which is supposed to bring good luck and make all your wishes come true. It's one of the most magical nights of the year, really, really good fun. July is music festival season in Benidorm and we'll be covering that along with August and September in our next monthly guide video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to get notified whenever we release a new video. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this vlog useful and let us know in the comments if you're coming out during any of these months this year. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at the Benny Dorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.